Welcome back everybody, Proud Dad, Productive Gamer back once again, and I know it's been a while, and this isn't the video that I wanted to start off with, but this is a Pokemon Go hack, and all you have to do is go to this website, the APK, give me a sec, APK, quick.com slash game hyphen APK files, I will go slow, so you guys can type this in because I cannot remember exactly where I found this at, but you guys can go to this website and like you see in the end, it is Lollipop. It says root Lollipop. And you don't have to root your phone. But what you do is you download this Tutu app right here. And I'm not sure if you actually have to do this anymore. There was something that said you don't have to. And like you see right here, it says Pokemon Go Hack Android using Fly GPS instead. And if you are on Marshmallow, the 6.0 or higher, the Fly GPS is much better because you can actually put yourself wherever you want. This Tutu app does not let you do that. And as you guys see here, it's Tutu app. Download Tutu app APK. Download that. And download this modified Pokemon Go APK. And as you guys see, like I said, I'm not sure, but it says the update. Tutu Hap has removed Pokemon Go, but you can still download the modified Pokemon Go APK here instead. So go ahead and just I download. Oh, you're right. Just download the modified Pokemon Go APK and do the. Uh, uh, what the hell is it called? Give me one sec, guys. The unknown sources or something like that. See, there's the Tutu app. And you will have to delete or uninstall your actual Pokemon Go. I'm trying to see if I can find it here. Um, I think it's here. It's something about the uh, unknown sources. the Pokemon Go and it's got a couple Japanese letters. What you do is you just click on that. And this is good for people who are disabled, people who live in like really cold or hot regions of the world that can't really get out and play the game. Because as you guys see here, I've got a, an analog stick right here. Or a D-pad, whatever you want to call it. But I've got a, a stick that I can actually move my character with. And the only downside to this that I've seen I apologize, just waiting for the music to die down. The only downside to this is, is I went through the Gmail. You have to go through the, you know, a bunch of shit's popping up right now. And I'm sorry if this is a little bit laggy, but there's a lot of information that's being processed right now. But, come on, I want the polywag. As you guys can see, as I spawn in a random location, this is not my location. My phone's lagging out a little bit. Okay, come on. It's this doesn't happen. It's just because I'm making the video right now. That is lagging out while I'm doing this. But I'll go ahead and skip that for now. I apologize for that, guys. But this is not where I am at. But as you guys can see, there is a shit ton of Poke Stops. There's a few gyms. And this also has the new update that I do not have yet, where it shows you the nearby Pokemon at the Pokestop. So if you click on, like, the, the coughing over here, it will, if you view it, it will show you the actual Pokestop that it's near. The little footprints over here. And if you look over that way, it'll show you that that's about where he's going to spawn up at. So that's pretty cool. Now if you click on the Clefairy... Pokemon cannot be found in the wild. I got a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit's popping up. And I apologize, it's normally not this laggy, but it's mainly because I'm doing a video while I'm doing this. But you have to, like I was saying before, you have to have a Pokemon Trainer Club account. And I'm not sure if you can keep your existing account, but I had to make a new one because I was going through my Gmail. But let's go ahead and show you guys what I've gotten so far. I've I'm only like level six or something, but 
I've already gotten nine eggs. I've gotten some Pokemon that I don't even have yet on my normal account, like the Ekans, the Geo Dude, um, the Machoke. I actually caught the Machoke. Everything here has been caught. The Charmander, the Squirtle, the Sandshrew, which is pretty nice. You see, I'm only only level six right now, so I'm not too far into it. But that's all just within playing for like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Now, if we go ahead and look at this, I'm still getting used to this uh, analog stick thing, but it will jump around a little bit for you from time to time. I'm going to go ahead and try for the horsey, just because I don't have it yet on this account. You guys can, you guys can see how laggy that is. Let's hope it gets it, but... See, the Pokemon has fled. So that means the Pokemon, the, the Cough King that I, I tried to track through this right here, actually fled. But please let me know, guys, if you are using a trainer account to begin with. If it were, yeah, see, it normally jumps around like this to begin with, but it's normally not as laggy as it is right now. But like I said before, this is mainly for people who are like disabled and can't get out and actually walk around and play. This is a great alternative because if you guys look, I've never seen this many Pokestops. I mean, I have, but not where I am actually at. So we're gonna go up here. Yes, I'm a passenger, I'm going too fast. So this is not a good egg hatching method because it does go too fast. I mean, if you tap it, I'm sure it'll be fine if you just keep like tapping it to go like a good, normal walking speed I'm sure it'll be all right but it does uh, like I said it does jump around a little bit but it is nice because I can I can go over here and I can get pokey stops I'm gonna go ahead and walk around I think that's the, the chop right there trying to spawn up but from where I started off on my base I mean, I've already got 213 items just from walking around for 15 minutes. I got 172 Pokeballs. I even got another Egg Incubator from leveling up. Go ahead and look at my Pokedex right now. I've already seen 24, and, or caught 24 and seen 25. I wonder what that elusive motherfucker was. Who was he? Oh, it was the Starmie. Oh, yeah. For some reason, right before the video, I saw Starmie, and it didn't let me pick him, but my character glitched out, just like the thing right here, and running around. Now, what is popping up? And where are they popping up at? Ooh. Oh, it's... Yeah. Oh, well. I'll go for it. No, get out of here. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you see how much shit's popping up. I'm not even going to attempt it, but like I said, guys, this is this is a really good method. And if you guys have a Pokemon Trainer account and you do this, look at this shit. Wow. So much shit just popping up for no reason. All these lures. All the place. And another Abra. This is just ridiculous. I do have another one that I'm waiting to post until my phone actually... Pokemon Go app because it's a fly GPS, it's like a compass to game. It will literally let you teleport anywhere in the world. And it's without ban if you're smart enough about it. Because if you're going from like where I'm at is Ohio to California, all you have to do is not play your game for like six hours. Enough time to register that you would get from Ohio to California. That's all you have to do. Just don't play your game, and then you have to run your app through the Fly GPS to get there. But you can, it literally gives you an analog stick, something like this, so you can walk around over there. But please, guys, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, 
let me know what what you guys want to see like i always say i did put a donation tab up so if you guys feel the need to help me out by all means please click on that donation tab and i am accepting all the i mean i don't care how much you give me it don't matter to me just if you need to see something let me know i'm here to help but i will try to get some more videos here lately or here soon i've been working an extremely extremely a lot of hours right now and it's it's just it's it's paying a toll i'm not able to to get to you guys like i wish i could but this weekend i should be hopefully trying to get the marshmallow update if not i'm gonna try to push it to my phone and see if we can get this uh, flight gps for you guys but this I, you guys one more time the website close that it is apkquick.com slash game hyphen apk files and like i said i'm not sure if you need to download the tutu app the only reason it says to do that is because that was where the modded pokemon go was like you guys see right here the pokemon go that's on my home screen is not the normal pokemon go but like i said you have to uninstall your original Pokemon Go to actually get this. You can download it, and once you play it, it'll close you out. So you gotta uninstall your normal one, which doesn't hurt your game data, it doesn't do anything wrong. You can always go back and reinstall it. But my main focus on this video is to see if any of you are playing on the Pokemon Trainer Club. Let me know if you do this, if you can keep your existing data if you can do this and still be level 23 or, or 19 or whatever you are and you don't have to restart a whole new account because let me see real quick uh, I will show you guys what I'm talking about I don't know if I'm able to log out or not but it wasn't letting me log in through my normal account and it didn't say anything that I wasn't able to. It was just taking so damn long. And I didn't want to wait there forever. So I just went ahead and made a Pokemon Trainer Club. Just for kind of like a secondary account. And to show you guys. Alright. Hurry up now. Yeah, I don't care. Look at all that. Boom, boom, boom. All this shit popping up. And try settings, and we will go to sign out at the bottom. And again, for educational purposes, I will try to do this with my Google account, but I'm not sure if it'll work. This is what it was doing when I was trying to do it to begin with. Is it was just loading and loading and loading, and I didn't really give it a chance. I gave it about five minutes, and I just kind of said, fuck it. Because, like, I do not take credit for this video or this method. In the video, yes, but the method, no. I, I learned about this on uh, YouTube, and I'm not exactly sure who to give credit to because I wasn't paying attention to who I was looking at. But... They also said that you had to be on the Pokemon Trainer Club, so before I did it, I thought I'd give it a shot and see if I could use my existing data on my Gmail or my Yahoo or whatever I was using, whatever you guys are using, but so far it seems to be a bust. Like, as you guys can see, I'm not really getting anywhere, but the Pokemon Trainer Club, oh, I'm not going to do that just because I have to enter everything while I'm on the video, but hit the Pokemon Trainer Club. If you don't have one, you can register right down there and if you have one go ahead and sign in and please let me know comment to see if you can use your existing data or not that'd be greatly appreciated help everybody out on this video but proud dad productive gamer i'm signing off now thank you guys for all the likes the subscribes the support everything and please be sure to hit that donate tab to help me out Greatly appreciated. I will catch you guys next time.